up everybody so this is uh week one of my program it's also week one of my diet the diet is low carb high fat otherwise known as keto we're going into ketosis basically when you cut out carbs and um, you don't have any glycogen reserves in your liver your body produces chemicals called ketones which then become the body's preferred source of uh, energy. When that happens, it allows your body to become a lot more efficient at burning fat. <clears throat> the downside is something like this. I did sets of six at six by six at 325 um, with a single at 365 prior. I always do a heavy single before my working sets. And... Uh, you know, the warm-ups, I had zero energy day one. It was pretty rough. Um, by the time Jim came in, I was covered in sweat. I was just done for. And uh, I didn't have time to do any of my accessory work, which I had a feeling I might. I haven't been sleeping much lately, but, you know, I built my 425 bench press on <clears throat> little sleep, um, a really shitty diet, low-protein and uh you know no accessories so with me getting an ample amount of protein and fats um trying to keep it healthy fats you know pecans and mono and unsaturated fats and uh it's kind of working i've already lost a little bit of weight you know i'm filming this on wednesday which is leg day in a little bit um so far this week i've only had basically ground beef cheese um, unsweetened almond milk, a little pepperoni and cheese sticks for snacks, pecans for snacks, um, and lots and lots of eggs. I've already eaten about 20 eggs this week, so I'm going to be fueling up on those, eating about 66 eggs a week, um, with sausage. That's just the snack I like. It's, I like to have about six eggs for breakfast. Um, yeah, eat big to get big. So even though I'm dieting, I still need calories to maintain my strength. So that's the main goal there. Um, the bench press, the idea of my program is to start off with higher volume, build the muscle up, and then tear it down. That's how I did my last six-week cycle. I know a lot of people don't like to train for that short of a training cycle, but that's how I prefer to do it. I think my next one, I might go 12 weeks, but... For now, it's still sticking with six weeks at a time. Going six by six, then five by five, then four by four, three by three, two by two, and then uh, go for a single PR. Um, and then, oh, I forget what the last week is. I don't have my program out in front of me, but I might be doing uh, a couple heavy, heavier singles at my current, yeah, I think it's singles at my current PR. And then the next week, come in and then try to blow that PR out of the fucking water. But that's the gist of my program. Um, you know, I don't do West Side. I don't do bands. I don't do chains. And I don't like them. I don't think they work for me. Uh, I know people say, you know, proven by science. But uh, I think the biggest factor in making gains in the gym is simply consistency, dedication, and calories. You know, I mean, even if you're if you're in there every day and you're trying to work hard and you're really aiming for a goal, then there's not much of a chance you're going to miss it if you're working your ass off. So that's the uh, biggest piece of advice I can give for powerlifters is, you know, hit some volume, hit heavy singles. I don't give a fuck what training program you're doing. Try them all out. Eat a shit ton of food. Stick with it every single day. And in your mind, be a power lifter. That's all for me, y'all. Peace out.